This is amazing. You know what sounds fun today? Going to the bins. So I'm here, let's do it. I'm kind of here later than usual, but and it's packed. Like the entire parking lot is packed. I'm not even sure I'm in an actual parking space. <laughs> I have faith that we're gonna find some good bins today. First up, I found some Twisted X men's chukka boots. These had a lot of discoloration though and water damage, so I did pass, but this is a brand to look out for, so if you find them in good condition, they're worth picking up. This is a Kipling bag, and it was missing its trademark little monkey stuffed animal keychain that's usually on it, but even without it, I thought it would sell for, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 bucks. The North Face, I love picking up North Face jackets, but this had a big stain on it. Not interested in trying to get that out of that nylon. Hannah Anderson is a pretty good kids brand. Again, we're at the bin, so we're paying like a dollar. So I did pick this up, it was in really good condition, and I figured I could sell it for 15 to 20. And then this is Untuck It. Untuck It years ago sold for like 40, 50 bucks right away. These shirts retail for 100, but the resale value on them has definitely declined. So I don't expect to get more than 20, 25 bucks for this, which is totally fine. It happens. And by the way, my bins is so loud with music that I'm doing a voiceover today because it just was really hard to hear as I was filming. But these pants are Hartford 3. Not a brand I'd heard before, but they are linen. Linen pants tend to do well, and I looked up comps and they seem to be really strong. So $30 to $60 for these. I was kind of hoping this was Pendleton, but it is Ibina, which is, hey, I'm looking at Made in Germany. Those are good signs. 100% acrylic, the plaid pattern. And sure enough, this seems to sell pre-owned for like $60. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. It's in great condition. You guys, I am not having good luck. I'm not finding anything. Oh gosh, wish me luck. Because I've been here a little while and... Some days are better than others, and I wonder if they're gonna rotate anymore. They might not rotate these bins anymore. I might have come a little too late. The fuck? Okay, so they are going to be rotating the bins. So I'm gonna line up in just a sec. I did have a little luck and I found these Gymshark shorts that actually have already sold for me for $26. So that was a decent find among the many items I dug through that were worth nothing. <laughs> a little lucky with the fresh bins. Zaya Active Leggings do pretty well for me, 30 bucks. And then Giorgio Armani trousers. I don't know what these will sell for. Giorgio Armani is so hit or miss, but maybe they'll sell well. So apparently in one of the fresh bins I was digging in, someone found a Supreme t-shirt. Dang it. I wonder how close I was. <sighs> This North Face cardigan actually already sold for me for $21. So not a ton of money, but it had this little tie that was attached to it. North Face is just one of those consistent bread and butter brands that I love because it always very consistently sells for me. And then these are some Poetry pants. Poetry is a really good brand. I've gotten it in liquidation brand new and it sold for a ton of money. So these are linen pants. Poetry is known for like the Hamptons, Ina Garten, Login Look, Linen. All of that sells really well. So easy pick up there. And this is for educational purposes. I thought for a sec this was Lulu, but no, it is CRZ Yoga, which has that logo. It's an Amazon dupe brand, so don't be fooled. <laughs> but one of the finds of the day was this Free People Thermal. And the reason that it is a super cool find is because of these sleeves with the buttons. This is a rare shirt. Okay, so just for fun, this is that Free People button cuff thermal. These are super sought after and they're more rare. So whenever you find this style of Free People with like the zip cuffs or the statement sleeves or the button cuffs or whatever, they tend to sell really well. This top is more rare and the comps I'm seeing, I see one listed on Poshmark for like $150. I don't think it'll sell for that, but I do see some sold listings around 70 to $80 up to 100 if it's in good condition. So I think it's really cute and I was so excited to find this this could be the find of the day. Actually, there was one other that was slightly better than this one. I've been wanting to dive deeper into my family tree and my roots, and that's why I partnered with MyHeritage today. Not only are we mapping my family tree, but I sent in a DNA sample to get my ethnicity estimate. They send you a kit in the mail, and all you have to do is take a couple swabs, make sure you get them in your mouth really well, you ship it off, and you wait for your results. My results came in today, actually, and I opened them up and saw I am 
96.7% English and 3.3% Finnish. With just the click of a button, I was able to add a bunch of names to my family tree, thanks to my heritage. And I even uploaded a picture of my grandfather and grandmother. It's one that I keep in my office and I look at often. I uploaded those photos to my heritage and I was able to color correct them, enhance them, and animate them, which was so meaningful to me because it helps me feel so much more connected. I never knew him in life. He passed away before I was born, but I've always wanted to feel connected to my grandfather especially, and it was so cool to do that. Use the link in my description and use code HUSTLE to get free shipping on your own DNA kit from MyHeritage. Thank you again to MyHeritage for sponsoring this portion of the video and now let's get back into it. Like I mentioned, North Face is one of my favorite brands and this is a very basic women's full zip thermal. 25, 30 bucks every single time. Speaking of North Face, I found this men's graphic thermal and even with a hole in it, I still think it will sell really well because this is a sought after style. So going in my bag. And then three and it's true, another North Face. This is like a short sleeve sweatshirt. This actually already sold as well. It sold for $14 plus shipping, which isn't bad, but not great. And then I spoke too soon. Four and it's true, another North Face hoodie. Again, all of these will sell for, I don't know, 20 bucks, but that's not bad when I'm paying just a few dollars for everything in this bag. This is Athleta and this is another just bread and butter brand I find a lot. It's an activewear brand and I'm checking, you'll see the interior tag to make sure that it is more recent. The older stuff doesn't sell as well, but if it's from the last four years or so, it should do great and this is more recent so I think this will sell okay this is that I'm sorry I'm just wearing sweatpants again with the sweatpants but this is that athleta sweater and it's really cute but it's just too short um, my fellow long torso friends feel my pain and long arms I have very long arms and a long torso so a lot of these sweaters don't fit me super great but it is cute and it is a more recent style and I think it will sell really well but it needs to be ironed a little bit, but yeah, still it's cute and it'll sell fantastic. I love selling Athleta, maybe 20, 25 bucks for this. Another great brand, soft surroundings, especially in a larger size, 3X. This should sell great. This is like another thermal, loose fit, tunic style. I really do love selling this brand. It's a very consistent seller for me. I don't often pick up Urban Outfitters, but I was getting a little desperate at this point. It had been three hours. And Free People is sold at Urban Outfitters, so I figured, you know, maybe their basic Sherpa full zips might do okay. So we're gonna clean this up and I will report back on if it has sold or if it hasn't. Guys, this is just, oh my gosh, fuck. I have seen so much junk today. Oh, that's nasty. This Under Armour Windbreaker, don't sleep on all of Under Armour. If it's more recent, it should sell well. And this actually already sold for me for $35. So super easy pickup. I do like this brand when it is more recent and when it's a full zip, full zip always sells better than pullover. So yeah, super easy pickup that day. Okay, this is a Hunger Games tunic. Um, I think it's a men's. If you guys want TJ to model this, you need to comment below. And if enough people comment, I will post a picture of him in this and him cosplaying Peta Millar. Let's go. This is 100% cashmere. When something is cashmere, I tend to just pick it up almost no matter what the brand is. So this is Iris in ink and I'm gonna grab it because cashmere sells. Here is where I found the find of the day, I think. This is the coolest, craziest Stevie Nicks style fluted sleeve, white mock neck top. The brand is Solace London. The tag looked really nice. The interior tag looked nice. It felt really nice. And shockingly, there were no stains on it. There was like nothing on it. It was in really pristine condition, which for being something that's white fabric and at the bins and has been like tossed around and dug through. So after doing some research, I discovered that this originally retailed for $380. You know I have to try this on. Okay, I'm sorry. Look at this top. This is amazing. What? I think this is so cute, actually. I was like really skeptical when I picked it up. It feels really, really nice. It's a very like heavy texture, very finely knit, um, but it's got these amazing bell sleeves that have a slit. It's giving like Stevie Nicks. I love it. It's so amazing. But this is like a designer brand. Their dresses sell for a ton of money, hundreds of dollars. And I did find this top. It was sold out online. I couldn't find like the original listing for it, but I think it was originally a hundred $25 or maybe more. I do see someone has it listed on Poshmark for like $100. So I don't know 
know what this will actually sell for. I couldn't find a ton of comps, but I do think it will sell well and it's really cool. If I don't keep it myself, but where, where would I, where would I uh, rock this outfit? I was thinking like a butterfly cosplay event. I don't know. We don't go fancy places to be a TJ, so maybe uh, my next outing it to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I don't know. But I do think it's amazing. Finally, after many hours, it was time to check out. I only ended up spending 40 bucks on everything I got. You guys, that was so exhausting. I was there for four hours. We still found some really good stuff, surprisingly, at the very end. And we're gonna get home and add it up, but first things first, I am desperate for a treat. So let's go treat ourselves. Part you guys love the most. Not really. I mean, it's just a tradition, okay? We have to keep it going. Like... brings us to over $700 in sales today from the bins. So what started as a not so great day ended up being a fantastic day. I'm so glad that I could take you guys along. Thanks so much. And if you want more videos about me going to the bins or going thrifting, I have a playlist for you right here. So take care you guys and I'll catch you next time.